Hey, everybody. It's George Foshin Call Realty Best Palos Verdes Homes. And, um, oh, man, I'll tell you, you know, we can look at the facts and sometimes we look at certain facts and it leads us to make certain conclusions. And then we look at a different set of facts and it leads us to make another sort of conclusion. And what I wanted to share with you today is this blog post that I just wrote and a set of data facts from the multiple listing service um, that really kind of surprised me and is leading me to believe that real estate prices for the Palos Verdes Peninsula, and I bet you if I did this same study for Manhattan Beach, Hermosa Beach, Redondo, Torrance, I bet you I'm gonna, I would come to the same conclusion because the patterns are about the same. But in this particular case, I'm going to focus just on the, on the Palos Verdes uh, Peninsula. The fact is that the number of months of unsold inventory, this is a calculation based on the rate at which homes are selling. At that pace, how long would it take to sell existing levels of unsold supply? And the lower the number, the stronger the market. We're at one of the lowest levels that we've seen since January of 2008. Uh, and in fact, in the last few months, the market has actually improved, notwithstanding what interest rates are doing. And when we look at pending sale volume um, as a function of demand, we see that demand has actually increased in the last few months, even though it's down from 2020. Still, this uh, this downtrend here really is a function of less supply, not less demand. But even with that, demand has gone up in the last few weeks. And when we look at the number of active listings, again, some of the lowest levels of inventory that we have seen since 2008. It's just amazing. And it's been dropping precipitously since 2000, uh, end of 2019. So let's sum up. The market is improving in its ability to absorb inventory. Demand is stronger. Supplies are weaker. If you have demand improving or even steady in the face of lower supply, what do you think is going to happen to prices? I mean, it's baked into the cake. Now, a lot of you watching and getting this video, unless you found it on YouTube or something, if I'm sending you this video directly, it's probably because you've recently been on one of my market reports. And I wanted to give you a tip on that. Um, if you've been on uh, one of my market reports, hang on, I'm getting to it right now. I've got so many windows open there. Make sure you use this tip. This is what that market report looks like. It'll look familiar to you because you just opened it in the last few days. Make sure you click in the upper left-hand corner for property report and enter in your uh, address and it'll give you an instant um, uh, computer model um, as estimating what a buyer might pay uh, for your property in today's market. Now, keep in mind, computer models all have an inherent problem. Um, and the problem is uh, simply this. The problem is that computer models can't nuance view home condition, lot utility, uh, or micro location, like if you're on a busy corner within a neighborhood or not, uh, things like that. So view, condition, lot utility, and micro location. So that's why it's a good idea to have more than one computer model. Don't use the models from these big portals because they data mine your computer and mobile devices and sell your information uh, to their advertisers. Instead, contact me and I'll get you the link to a private and confidential uh, computer model where in addition to this one that you can use, so you have some uh, checks and balance and you can compare and contrast uh, without the fear of having your uh, data uh, compromised um, to advertisers. I keep your information private and confidential. I never share it, never sell it. All right, that's it for now. Um, if you have any other questions on uh, the market, just let me know. And thank you very much. Talk to you later.